Hey y'all, Zach. Uh, tonight we're going to be making hot tamale balls. Real good appetizer if you need something to take to a party. Or what we do, we put on uh, French bread and make uh, hot tamale po' boys out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and explain what you're going to need and then I'll mix it up and I'll get back to you. So we've got about a little over a pound of uh, ground beef. I've got some hot Italian sausage, about a pound of that. I've got one teaspoon of cayenne pepper and paprika. I've got two teaspoons of salt and garlic powder. I've got two tablespoons of tomato sauce and enchilada sauce. All right. I've got an eighth of a cup of cumin and a half a cup of hot chili sauce. And then I've got a half a cup of all-purpose flour and a cup and a half of cornmeal. So last but not least, I've got Lipton onion soup mix and one pack of taco season. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it all together and I'll form into little golf ball size uh, meatballs and I'll be back to show what to do next. I've got all the meat and spices mixed together and I've got them formed into little balls about like the golf ball size meatballs. Take a look at that. Alright, so now I've got to make my the sauce, the hot tamale sauce to go on top of it. So I've got three cups of chicken broth. All right, to that, I'm gonna add this can of enchilada sauce. Now remember, I took a little bit out of it to um, took a little bit out to mix in with the meatballs. Sorry, I'm gonna mix it in this, it's a little bit bigger. All right, so I got my enchilada sauce. It's about a 16 ounce can. I've got two of these smaller cans of tomato sauce. And remember, I took a couple teaspoons or tablespoons out to uh, mix in with the meat. All right, I've got two tablespoons of the hot chili sauce. If you don't have this, I forgot to mention earlier, if you don't have this, you can use chili powder. So I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna squirt it in there. All right. Now I've got two teaspoons each of cumin and salt, and then I've got about a half a teaspoon of paprika. I'm gonna mix that in there. Give it a good stir. All right. Now I'll pour all this into my instant pot on top of. I'm gonna move my beer. On top of my meatballs. All right, got my lid, I'm gonna set it to seal. All right, manual button, I'm gonna kick it on 10 minutes. All right, so in 10 minutes, we'll be back. All right, we're back. We did 10 minutes in the uh, Instant Pot on high pressure, and then I did a five minute natural release, and then I flipped the switch. Um, you wanna take a look at it? It came out really good. And you can eat that as an appetizer, um, or what I like to do is I like to put them on, you know, put them on some bread and do a po' boy. Um, so, all right, well, we got some meat to do, so we'll see y'all next time.